Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, starting to feel like home here in, in Birmingham, Warwickshire. So I'm really excited to, to extend my stay and, you know, hopefully some more silverware in those next few years. When did negotiations start? What were the conversations you had? Uh, last few weeks I've been talking um, and, yeah, just it just came off the back of, I suppose, quite a successful um, summer in, in White Bull. Ideally, Red Bull would have gone a bit better, but over the last couple of years, I feel like my game's expanded, playing all three formats. Um, and hopefully, you know, I've got to the age now where we can become a more senior bowler along with a couple of the other guys and um, help pave the way for a few young lads as well. You're potentially heading into the 2023 campaign with a year left on your deal. How much of a relief and how great is it for you now that you can go into next season knowing you're almost not playing for a contract that you've got that security? Oh yeah, 100%. It's always, it's always a tricky situation to be in your last year and, you, and you're kind of a little bit apprehensive about that. But to have that security and that faith and backing from, from the club here, it's, 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 a, it's a huge honour to play here and it's great to have that faith. Yeah, you talk about that backing, that must be great for you now going into next season, knowing that they've almost penciled you into these spots. You've almost made certain places your own. Yeah, I think so. You know, ideally, I think you want that competition for places. So I don't think any spots, anybody's. But at the same time, it's nice to to be a key key figure within the bowling squad. And um, you know, hopefully that can you know, long may that continue. When you came here, did you think it was going to pan out the way it has? Did you think you were going to win a county championship, compete in all formats? I think that was the aim. That's why I wanted to come here. I wanted to be in a squad and a team that's challenging for trophies. I wanted to be in a, an environment that's that's challenged me for places. Um, so I guess in a way it's panning out how I would have liked. Um, but there was, you know, there's no guarantees there, and it, it was always a little bit of a risk um, to to move here. But hopefully, and um, you know, it's paying off so far. Yeah, the last couple of years in Rebel cricket have been pretty special at the both ends of the, the table, of course. But winning the county championship and in that survival on day four. It, it's a pretty special place to be at. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like the the twenty twenty one season, that that last day here was fantastic to be out there. Obviously, I wasn't out there this year, but I was watching intensely from from inside the pavilion, watching Liam do his stuff. But I think you know the the fans behind us in that championship win, and even that last day here this year, like the the fans of Warwickshire are, are, are huge. The members, everything, um, and and they do back us um, through and through. So it's it's just a great place to play cricket. You'd obviously be hungry to win the county championship again, but what other sort of goals are you looking at? Do you look at that T20 where we've got to two quarterfinals potentially as the next milestone? Yeah, I think we've shown some great consistency in, in the short form now as well. Um, you know, it's something that Mark Robinson talked about when he came, came in and, and we've, we've got to the, to the knockouts and we, we ideally want to go one step further. So we're playing here on finals day. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's something we want to do as a group, but also um, I think, you know, we want to be challenging that championship title again. What does winter look like for you? Uh, I'm here. There's only a few of us here that have been left behind. Uh, a lot of the young guys have, have gone away, but uh, I'm here um, with a few of the, uh, the you know, senior bowlers. So we'll be, we'll be in, the, uh, in the gym there and indoor school um, looking to, to, to put, put right this season and, um, and come back stronger. How much do you look ahead to 2023? Do you start planning that now? Or is that something you kind of put towards Christmas time when you kind of turn of the year and you can really start to look at that April, May start? Yeah, I think probably... Once, once the, the new year's out of the way, um, we'll start to be a little bit more cricket specific um, and look to, to target areas that we, we need to be, to be ready for um, come April time. Um, but yeah, for, for now, it's simply about getting the body right after a long summer um, and, and making a few technical and changes um, in that respect.